Evolution of John Darling Peter Pan, 1953 John loves hearing his older sister Wendy's stories of Peter Pan and plays Captain Hook while his younger brother, Michael, plays Peter Pan during their nursery games. He is very brave and very smart. One night, while George and Mary go to a party, Peter visits Wendy, John, and Michael and teaches them how to fly and takes them to Neverland with them. Later, John is ordered by Peter to take the Lost Boys and Michael on a hunt for Indians, who capture and mistake them for the kidnapping of the chief's daughter, Tiger Lily, and he orders them to be burned at the stake if she doesn't return by sunset. Luckily, Peter saves her from Captain Hook, the real kidnapper, and returns her to the Indian camp, and the boys are set free while Peter is made a flying eagle by the chief. During the song, John tries the chief's pipe, which sickens him and makes his face turn dark green. Also during the song, he dances along with the Indians, wanting to live like savages. Who Framed Roger Rabbit, 1988 John, in a black trench coat, can be briefly spotted right next to Tweedledum during the final scene while the song Smile Darnia Smile is finishing. Peter Pan, 1988 Peter Pan is an Australian 50-minute direct-to-video animated movie from Burbank Movies Australia. It was originally released in 1988. The movie is based on J. M. Barrie's 1911 novel Peter and Wendy adapted by Paul Leiden, which was in turn based on the 1904 play Peter Pan. Peter Pan and the Pirates, 1990 In the episode, First Encounter, John is in an inquisitive mood today and wants to know how certain events in Neverland came to pass. Peter begins answering John's questions by stating why he made the croc swallow the clock. He then describes how the Jolly Roger was brought to Neverland by a strange hurricane and how the Lost Boys and the Pirates first met. During the course of the story, Peter reveals that he cut off Hook's hand when he thought that the pirate had killed Nibs and Tootles in their first battle. The flashbacks show that Hook's scream of pain could be heard all over the island as a signal that life in Neverland would never be the same. House of Mouse, 2001 John made frequent cameos on House of Mouse alongside Wendy and Michael and Peter Pan. In Ask Von Drake, he makes a cameo during the Ludwig Von Drake song. Mickey's Magical Christmas, snowed in at the House of Mouse, 2001 John can be seen during the finale song, with Peter, Wendy, and Michael. Return to Neverland, 2002 John didn't appear in the sequel and wasn't mentioned by any of the characters, including Wendy. However, he made a couple of shadowy cameos on some starry night clouds that light up by Tinker Bell, to begin with, flying with Wendy and Michael and leading the Lost Boys to the Indian camp. Peter Pan 2003. John Darling is Wendy's younger brother, and Michael's older. He and Tiger Lily share a kiss while in the Black Castle, and it gives John enough strength to haul the gate open. Robot Chicken, Season 8, 2006. In the episode, Taken to Neverland, Brian Mills goes to Neverland and rescues Darling's children from Peter Pan, Lost Boys, Mermaids, and Captain Hook. John doesn't have his glasses, umbrella, and hat. A Poem Is, 2011 A Poem Is, is a miniseries featured on the Disney Junior Channel. The series consists of 21 retold classic poems read by celebrity guests. Each episode begins with several young children speaking about what they believe a poem is. The series' most notable feature, however, is that the clips are taken from classic and current Disney animated features and shorts. Jake and the Neverland Pirates, 2012 John appears in the episode, Battle for the Book. In it, Captain Hook has stolen the book containing Peter Pan's adventures with intent on destroying it as well as the stories of Neverland forever. To save it, Wendy, John, and Michael team up with Jake and his crew to race through London, and eventually, Neverland itself, to stop Captain Hook. During the adventure, John becomes particularly close to Izzy. John appears once again in the series finale, 
Captain Hook's last stand, where he, Wendy, and Michael visit Neverland to take part in Peter Pan's homecoming celebration. When he is finally defeated by a magically equipped Captain Hook, John and the other young heroes work together to save him. Once Upon a Time, 2013 John and the rest of the Darling family appear in the Season 2 episode, Second Star to the Right. After a boy named Balefire was welcomed into their family, John and Michael overhear him one night warning Wendy to stay away from a shadow that looms outside the window. She ignores his advice and travels to Neverland with the shadow. When she returns, she reveals that it wants to take one of her brothers away to Neverland forever. During the next night, Balefire helps to hide everyone when it comes, but Michael is nearly caught by it. To avoid the splitting up of the family, Balefire asks to be taken to Neverland instead. In the Dark Hollow, John and Michael became employed by Pan after he kidnapped Wendy sometime after the events of the second star to the right. Now adults, they arrive in Storybrooke to destroy Pandora's box, the only thing capable of defeating him. While they succeed in capturing it, they are thwarted by Belle and Ariel in the mines. They reveal that Pan is holding Wendy captive in Neverland, so Belle promises she will do what is necessary to save Wendy if they don't destroy the box. Saturday Night Live 2014 When Peter Pan, Jim Parsons, pays a visit to the Darling Children, he brings along Tinkerbell's sassy half-sister, Tonkerbell, A.D. Bryant, whose behavior unsettles the children and annoys Peter Pan too. Peter Pan and Wendy 2023. John is portrayed by Joshua Pickering in a live-action adaptation of the 1953 movie.